Dear friends, today we are discussing about the control system design via pole placement by state feedback. Okay, you know, for improving the performance of a control system, we are implementing controllers, compensators. We already studied about this about controllers and compensators. But in all these cases, output alone is used as a feedback signal to achieve the desired performance. That is, we are taking the output and it is fed back to the input side to get the desired performance. But in this topic, we are using a state feedback. Okay, let us see what is this. See this block diagram. In this block diagram, we are representing a system. A system is represented by state model x dot equal to ax plus bu y is equal to c cx c x dot is equal to ax plus bu and y is equal to cx this is the original system we are going to improve improve the performance of the system using state feedback here system without state feedback let us see the system with the state feedback already mentioned the system as now given a state feedback through a state feedback gain matrix see the difference this is the original system and from here the state variable is taken to the input side as feedback through a system feedback gain matrix k See, now input is changed as R. Then what is U? The already said input U is now equal to R minus sigma. U equal to R minus sigma. Okay. Then what is sigma? Sigma is equal to K. X is fed back and multiplied by K to obtain sigma. That is sigma is equal to Kx. Okay, R is the system input. When the state variables feedback is employed, then sigma is the feedback signal obtained from the state variable and U is the planned input. Where sigma is equal to Kx and U is equal to R minus sigma. That is U is equal to R minus Kx. This is the control law. This is very important. You mentioned this. U is equal to R minus Kx. This is the control law. For what this control law is applying? This control law is applied to improve the performance of the system. That is performance of a system is employed by placing pole in the desired location. And for uh, to, obtain, uh, to place the poles in the desired location, we are using a placement matrix, gain matrix K. Okay, using this K, U is equal to R minus Kx is the control law. Now, see the original model x dot equal to ax plus bu that is ax plus b into where u is substituted as r minus kx that is ax plus br minus bkx then the new state equation changed as x dot is equal to a minus bkx plus br where r is the input x is the state vector and a my a or the original system matrix is a now the system matrix changed to a minus bk okay now uh, as per the uh, as per our requirement we are placing our pole in the desired location to improve the performance of the control system and for that we are using again matrix k and now the original state model x dot is equal to ax plus bu changed to x dot is equal to a minus bk x plus br so to design the new system our aim to find out the value of k this is what is done in solving the uh, problems exams that is uh, normally asked to find out the value of k to obtain the desired performance the four locations may be given in the questions let us see one question before that let us see what are the steps for finding k. There are uh, different methods for finding k. Now we are concentrating on this method which is very simple. The first step, determine the characteristic polynomial. What is characteristic polynomial? Determinant of lambda i minus a equal to 
0. Now, in our new system, instead of a, we have to use a minus bk. Therefore, determinant lambda i minus a minus bk equal to 0, where k is a raw matrix with the n variables, where n is the number of state variable. Then, lambda i minus a plus bk, that will be a function of lambda, where each term, the coefficients b1, b2, bn minus 1, etc. will be a function of k's, that is k1, k2, kn. First, we are forming this equation using the characteristic equation. Then, determine the desired characteristic polynomial. Desired characteristic polynomial is obtained using the desired closed loop poles. Let the specified closed loop poles be mu1, mu2, mu n. Then the desired characteristic polynomial lambda minus mu1 into lambda minus mu2 up to lambda minus mu1 is equal to 0. So we will get another equation. First, we are getting an equation using the system characteristic equation in terms of A. And, and the secondly, we are getting another equation with the, the desired or specified closed loop poles. These two equations should be equal to satisfy the condition. So, we will equate the coefficient that is b1 is equal to alpha 1, b2 alpha 2 etc. By solving these equations, we will get the value of k. Here is a question. A transfer function is given. Y of s by u of s equal to 10 by s into s plus 1 into s plus 2. And design a feedback controller with a state feedback so that the closed loop poles are placed at minus 2, minus 1, plus or minus j1. Our aim is to design a feedback controller. For that, we have to design the value of k matrix. We study the from the state model. Here state model is not given. So, first we have to find the state model from the given transfer function. Determine the state equation that is y of s by u of s, okay, cross multiplied. Then after that we put the Laplace inverse. All these steps are discussed in the previous video. So, see that. Then this is a third order equation. Therefore, third, three number of state variables are required. Three state variables x1, x2, x3 is a y, y dot, y double dot. That is uh, state variables are assigned as phase variables. And three equation and solved for state equation. Similarly, solved for output equation. Uh, one, uh, one thing I forgot to mention is that to design a controller, a feedback controller, it is necessary and sufficient that the given system should be a controllable. Okay. Only controllable system can be can be improved using feedback controllers. So, first we have to determine the state equation or an output equation that is the state model. After that, solve for controllability. For checking the controllability, we are forming a composite matrix QC. QC equal to B, A, B, S square B and finding the rank of the matrix. If rank is equal to number of state variable, then we can say that the system is completely state controllable. Here, here in the given question, the rank is 3, number of state variable is 3, and the system is completely state controllable. Now, our aim, determination of K. From the state model, we obtained A and B. We assigned K is equal to K1, K2, K3. The characteristic polynomial lambda i minus a plus b k, the determinant is formed, and for so by solving, we will get the characteristic equation that is lambda q plus 3 plus 10 k 3 lambda square plus 2 plus 10 k 2 lambda plus 10 k 1. These are the b's. Okay, the coefficient of lambda square, the coefficient of lambda, and the coefficient of uh, lambda raised to 0. And the second step, we given we are given three poles, specified three poles. That is mu1, mu2, mu3. 1 is 2, then minus 1 plus j, minus 1 minus j. And using these three poles, we are forming another characteristic equation. Okay. This is our alphas. 
the coefficients of lambda square, coefficient of lambda raised to 1, coefficient of lambda raised to 0 are alphas 4, 6 and 4. Now comparing the first and second equation that is the coefficient of lambda raised to 0 is 10 k1 here. Here the coefficient of lambda raised to 0 is 4 therefore 10 k1 is equal to 4. Similarly the coefficients of lambda square and the lambda raised to 1 are also equated. By solving this, we will get the values of K1, K2 and K3. Now, K matrix 0 0.4, 0 0.4 and 